Hi, welcome to Use Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Fort Lauderdale. And it's gonna be the version by Sam Ross of Milk and Honey and Hatta Boy fame. Legendary bartender. It's a drink, but I just saw a recipe and I feel like that would be perfect to try with my wife because she loves gin, she loves the gin sour and this is kind of a play with that. Lots of almonds though, which I like and a bit of Campari, which I love, but she doesn't. But let's see how it plays in this cocktail. So let's get down to mixing. So we're gonna start with some lemon juice and the recipe calls for 20 milliliters of lemon juice. So we are gonna probably need 40. If you're making one for me too? Yes, let's make two. Whoa! Oh, oh, watch out. <laughs> see, I, I knew, I knew. Let's see if you can get 40 out of one lemon. You can do it. No, I cannot do it. Let's squeeze a bit more. So 20 milliliters per person of lemon juice or 40 milliliters for two persons. Then we go on with Orja. No, Orja. Orge. 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 I think it's more like A. Ah. And it's going to be 15 milliliters or a quarter of an ounce per person of Orja, the almond sugar which is not made from almonds, but from the kernels, the pits of plums or something like that. And then we go with the apricot brandy, which also is flavored the same way. This is not what it says on the label, but it's a blend I made myself. Actually, it smells really good. Nice. Yeah. Well, Wait, this is not uh, what the label says? It's no. your brand? It's a bit of uh, cousinier, a, a bit of uh, apricot brandy dry from Germany, a bit of plum distillate from Japan. And uh, it tastes really good. And also 50 milliliter per person. And then we go on with Campari, also 50 milliliter. So this makes the recipe pretty easy so far. So I pour 30 for two persons and we end with a gin and the gin is going to be 40, 40 milliliters per person. So we're going to need a total of 80. I'm using Stranger and Sons which my wife brought back from India, but it's over. So we have to finish with something else. Didn't we have another Indian gin? We have two other Indian gins. Yeah. Okay, Stranger and Sun is out. Tamras is in, also from India. And I never tried this, so it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. So 40 and then 40 more. Let's get some ice in our shaker. And let's give this bad boy a shake. <laughs> let's double strain in some chilled coop. Nice pink orange color from the company. Oh wow, beautiful. And let's express some lemon peel to finish this off. And there you go, a Fort Lauderdale by Sam Ross. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, lots mm. of almond going on. Very nice. Really heavy on the almond, but the complement of the Campari bring the sweetness <gasps> down, like uh, the spiciness of the Campari yeah. kills off 
the obvious witness that you will get from this combo of orja and apricot brandy and it makes it more palatable as an aperitif ah. yeah nice like you said i'm not a big fan of campari because campari to me is very bitter but with combination of almond it softens the the sharpness the bitterness of campari so it's really nice combination yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a nice really nice uh, cocktail yeah yeah I like very it. nice I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine this has Campari in it like the person who really doesn't like or who is not a big fan of Campari I, no. I cannot imagine that this cocktail actually contains Campari unless you look at it and you see the color <laughs> it could be something else I think I would have thought it's like cranberry juice or something um, yeah yeah but no? uh, yeah you have a point she's always right so I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like, shake yourself another gin sour almond drink alternative and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers! Cheers! So, mm. Fort Lauderdale, it's this location near Miami, Florida. And you know how all the crazy stories come from Florida? <laughs> it's like you take Florida man, you get a kind of drug, meth, something hallucinogic, something really weird, glue, something. You get like weird drugs. Florida man, you get naked, you get alligator or other wildlife, some guns, and you can pretty much mix and match these uh, elements and you make up a Florida story. <laughs> Is there any place in Japan that uh, would be the Florida of Japan? Like a place where there are crazy people that does crazy things. I'm thinking crazy people does crazy things. Like you see a news and you say, oh my God, that gotta be from... Like Osaka? Okay. They throw Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders. I have a did through Colonel Sanders from KFC mm. in the river once mm. in Osaka mm. 30 years ago. 38. 38 years ago, they threw the Colonel Sanders statue from KFC in the river in Osaka while they were celebrating the championship of Hanshin Tigers, a famous baseball team here in Japan. And since then, they could win the championship until this year. This year, we won. And after they won, they protected the statue. That's not going to happen again. Because that was the course of the Colonel Sanders. Yeah. What would be the other crazy places? No, but we have, you know, a lot of Matsuri where people do really crazy things. But that's everywhere, all over Japan. So the What's a Matsuri? Festival. Like a local festival. Very traditional. Yeah, like... Uh, People stripping naked and throwing themselves in the river on the uh, 1st of January. Yes. Yeah, there are crazy things all over. It's hard to pick, no? Okay. What do you think? I mean, you've been here for no, almost 20 years. Yeah, if, if I were thinking about Italy, actually, I wouldn't know if in Italy there is any single place they would be associated to Florida. I always used to think that my province of Brescia in Italy would be mostly like Ohio. Like... Really? Oh my god, like, are you saying like the most boring? Exactly, like really anonymous, really productive, middle of nowhere place where people just walk and they do stuff. But you guys have beautiful things like Franciacolta, you have Lago di Garda, you have like so much nature and everything, no? It's not just boring. I, I mean, maybe if you come from outside, you can find more beauty in... Maybe what you take advantage of. Yeah, I've never been to Ohio. What's in Ohio? Detroit? No, that's Chicago. No, Chicago is Illinois. Oh, Detroit is the first city I put my foot on in the U.S. soil. And yet I don't remember which state it was. Michigan! Michigan is Detroit. Detroit Michigan. Michigan. What's in Ohio? Ohio City. Really? That's the, that's the big city in Ohio? It's Ohio City? Columbus, Ohio. Ah, no, Columbus. 
It's oh, like I a, know, but we have Cleveland, Cincinnati. Ah, Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, Cleveland, Cincinnati. Why I think it matches well with Brescia because it's middle of nowhere, it's cold. It's uh, people working, being depressed by the fog. I don't know, is there any fog in Ohio, but in Brescia there is. And uh, really blue color, sad town. Again, I don't think we are entitled to say anything because we've never visited. Yeah, it's just like, we have the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. What's that? Uh, football tips. Ah. Cleveland is also known as a factory of sadness. Again, I think you should make a comment after you visited. Yeah, I know. But you know, also like so many bad things happen in Ohio. In, uh, and so I was like, uh, yeah, like kind of like Malaysia. My uh, own province in Italy. What kind of bad thing happened in Brescia? Well, we have... Uh, Let's not go Should on. I listen, no, no, listen no, all of no. them? Okay, no, no, no. But we had a terrorist attack in the 70s where... Uh, Actually, my parents were supposed to be there. Luckily, they were not, because if they were there, maybe I was not born. We had uh, some pervert... Okay. No, we had some other stuff that was... No, sorry, that, that, was my, <laughs> that was the wrong question. I'm sorry. You need to cut all this part, because uh, I think we are going down really dep depressive discussion. I think we need to like bring up that mood a little bit. Uh, that is fine. I think we talked enough. Okay.